everybody, Barb Schaffern here from Schaffern Herbals from my yard where I have my forsythia growing. It's springtime and that means it's time to pick these flowers. Right here's one. And um, make a preparation, dry them so that you will have a tea to prevent viruses from growing in the lungs. This is a Chinese medicine um, that Chinese have been using for years, a form of forsythia. And so I'm going to show you how. So I'm just using my pruners and I'm just going to um, snip some sticks and then I'm going to go sit and take the flowers off. So it's pretty easy. You just take each of these stems that you pick, that you cut, and then you're going to pick off all the flowers and I even pick off the buds too and then set them aside. Um, I'm going to show you how I set mine into the dirt to grow new forsythia plants. Um, so that's coming up. So I'll see you as soon as I'm done picking all these flowers off. I'm almost done taking these flowers off, but one of the things I was thinking about as I'm sitting here doing this is, um, am I gonna have enough? Should I go pick some more branches? Because during COVID, I did drop a lot of off to a lot of my neighbors and friends and family. And um, everybody seemed to come through it okay, so I'm not saying that it works. It's, or anything like that but I do know that it does seem to help um, some viral lung infections and we're going to take a look at the study here in a second uh, and uh, show you how we know that it does. I feel really lucky on this nice day in southwestern Pennsylvania. I'm sitting near my hyacinths and they smell so good as I'm taking these uh, forsythia flowers off. I cut this little guy and put it in my kitchen so I can smell it. Is there anything better I ask you than the smell? of a hyacinth in the spring? I think not, except maybe lilies of the valley. Okay, so once you've taken all the flowers off of the forsythia branches, you can actually just stick them in the dirt and you will grow new forsythia plants. So that's a nice way to propagate these. and You don't have to buy new bushes. So I have these forsythia here right now beside my house. Here's the stems that I'm gonna stick beside them. And I've been gradually growing the forsythia into this little patch in my garden. And it really hasn't cost me anything because I just keep taking them and plopping them right in the ground. So here we are in my dining room and I have my forsythia flowers and I'm just going to, I have a board here that my son bought for me in his travels abroad and I'm just going to spread them out and just kind of make sure that I can leave some space in between so that the air can get around them. And that's it. Literally you just drop, let them dry and then after a week when they're all dry, put them in a mason jar or a Ziploc bag and then use a tablespoon of the flowers to eight ounces of hot water, let it steep for 10 minutes, cover it when it steeps, add some honey in there. You also may wanna combine it with licorice root because licorice root is another Chinese herb used to help combat viral lung infections and licorice root has a little bit better of a flavor. This isn't gonna taste the best. Um, so you might wanna mix it with one of your favorite teas or again, combine it with licorice root. And um, voila, hopefully this will help um, anybody getting a, any kind of viral lung infection in their chest. Let's take a look at the science and see why I am saying that it does help combat viral lung infections. So in the movie Contagion, they do reference forsythia. There's a scene in it where there's forsythia flower. Um, the Chinese have been using it for thousands of years in traditional Chinese medicine. This is the study. I'll put the link in the in the uh, description, they looked at how certain compounds inhibit protein growth. And here are the 26 herbs that they studied. And here you can see when they are to be used. Here's another study from Science Direct. So to summarize the video about forsythia today, I showed you how to harvest the flowers, how to remove them, from the stems, how to cut the stems, how to stick the stems in the ground to repropagate the plant. I showed you how to lay them out to dry. I told you to put them in a jar or a bag once they are dry. And then we talked a little bit about the science and the link will be down in the description for those two studies that I showed in the video. If you like this video, 
please consider uh, subscribing to my channel and hit that like button. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.